Welcome to another Kickstarter video hosted by Spellstorm Miniatures. My name's Dan, and I'm just going to jump right into Riot Quest Winter Wasteland. This is the second season of Privateer Press's Riot Quest game. The starter will get you five characters that you can also play in War Machine and Hordes, along with the bounty deck, dice, all the cards, and map that you need. The surprise breakout character is Shivers, the baby Gorax, which Boomhowler finds. There are a few pledge levels, but the basic starter game will cost $50 plus shipping depending on where you are in the world. Now you can go up from there in order to get some of the other characters as they've already introduced a slew of characters that are coming out along with it. Your pledge level also has an effect if you are bronze, silver, or gold level which essentially is their way to give a little bit of Kickstarter bonuses depending on what you do. The price ticket can be used in the loot vault to get alt sculpts of characters that were released during the Mayhem season of the game. Now we have five of them here, but there'll be another one showing. Then you also have the bounty tokens getting you access to some basing material or some more bounty cards as well. Of course, if you don't want to go for the whole big pledge, you can just pick up individual characters a la carte that either you like their style, you want them, or they'll fit in with your factions. Now personally, generally a collector of many things, so I'll probably start picking up a smattering of these characters. If you're a fan of Riot Quest, you probably already know about this and plan on getting a few characters. If you're new to it, you can start right here and move on. They've designed the game that way. Now, personally, Bumbles here, the bear, is going to be one of my new favorite characters, I think. Next, we have The Book of Monstrous Might by Brian Berg. Now, this one has some unusual tactics and playable races with new monsters. This book is compatible with the 5e rule set to help supplement and kind of give a new angle on some of the monsters rather than just kind of sitting around. They have some different tricks up their sleeves. If you're into the rule system, it's definitely worth a look. It ranges from about $25 to $99. Then we have Elixir Dice, handcrafted sharp edge liquid core RPG dice by Adam Hackett. Now these beautiful dice come in a variety of colors with a little variety from buying a single D6, a single D20, or the seven piece polyhedral set. Now that might sound like a bit to spend on some dice, but once you see them in action, it's actually pretty neat. The liquid core creates a great visual effect once the dice is rolled. The stretch goals on this one are basically just unlocking more colors and combinations. So if you want some different looking dice, go ahead and check out this Kickstarter and get your dice around March, 2021. Last is Studio X Mobile Miniature Painting Studio by Mini Masterworks. This caught my eye for a few reasons. One, we're always kind of looking around for a station to take all of our paints and our gear, and this really fits a lot of those aspects between being able to hold your miniatures, your paint, your brushes in an innovative way, along with a lot of tools, and even a wet palette comes along with it. There's a lot of features and nuances to this that you got to check out the site for, gives a good demonstration of how well those brushes hold in the holder and just how everything else works on it. Not to mention the stretch goals on this will start including a few extra items such as self-healing cutting boards to fit in those sides. It'll set you back about $90 plus shipping, but definitely worth a look. Thank you for watching and if you're liking the content, please like and subscribe, then comment down below with which Kickstarter you're looking forward to.